Previously, we locally hosted LLMs using Olama and interacted with them in a chat GPT-like interface using Olama Web UI, also hosted locally. This video continues that journey. Here, I build a solution using a locally hosted LLM and Langchain, which is the most popular framework for building LLM solutions. I love Spotlight on Mac. It indexes my documents and allows me to search for keywords and find relevant documents. In a lot of cases though, I'm not looking for a document. I'm looking for answers to my questions. I know they're somewhere in my documents. LLMs are good at answering questions, but they don't have my documents. So I want to build a solution that retrieves relevant documents using Spotlight and then passes them on to the LLM to generate answers to my questions. Such a technique where we first retrieve information from a database or corpus and then pass it on to an LLM to generate a response is referred to as retrieval augmented generation. Since we'll do everything locally, let's call this local rag. Let's begin by creating a Python environment. Let me use Conda for this. Let's now install Langchain. For this exercise, I want to search through PDF documents. So let's install PyPDF. PyPDF is a library which will help extract text from PDF documents. Let's first write a Python program to use Spotlight programmatically. Let's create a shell program which receives the query as an input. Let's now write a function to search using Spotlight for files matching this query. We'll use the mdfind command and run it as a subprocess. We'll then call this from our main function. Let me also extend this to support restricting the search to a specific folder. We'll add a new argument to our program to optionally take in a folder. We'll relay this folder to the search function and use it to restrict the search to this folder. We can now run our search in a specific folder like this. Since we restricted our search to the current folder, it just got us our program file which has the query string in it. While Spotlight gets us the files of interest containing certain keywords, it doesn't precisely answer our questions. Let's say we have a bunch of resumes in a folder and we want to ask a complex question like, give me a short around 100 words summary, including contact details of candidates having Coursera certification and generative AI. Based on keywords like resumes, Coursera, generative AI, Spotlight may get us the resume files of interest, but it will not give us a short summary, including contact details for the candidates. Let's now use LLMs to do this for us. We've begun by writing our driver function. For this exercise, let's assume all our documents are PDFs. Let's write the getDocs function to extract text documents from PDF files. Let's now build our QA chain. We'll use the Langchain expression language or LCEL syntax for this. Let's start by defining the prompt, the LLM model, and the output parser. Let's now build the data to be injected into the prompt. We'll use the docs, question, and doc type expected while invoking this chain. One of the reasons I really love Langchain is that with Langsmith, it offers a very powerful debugging experience. So before running our LLM layer, let's set up Langsmith. Let's go to Langsmith and log in with our credentials. Create our API key for our organization and then create a new project. Let's now set up the environment variables. I have these set up in my ZSHRC. 
Let's now run our LLM there. It returns here a quick summary of the candidate matching the query along with their contact details. Let's now go to Langsmith and see the various aspects of LLM execution that happened here. Let's go back to our project and check traces. We can see a trace for our chain execution. Let's expand it. We can here see the things corresponding to components we used in building the chains. For example, the data, the prompt, the chat model, and the output parser. For the data, we can see the input and what the context built from it looks like. For the prompt, we can see data input to the template and the prompt generated from it. For the chart model, we can see the prompt input to the model and the output generated by it. For the output parser, we can see the input to it and the output produced by it. This offers a powerful general debugging experience. Further, if we want to fine tune our model based on the usage of our application over a period of time, we can select the traces we want to use for fine tuning and easily construct a data set to use for fine tuning from it. Select the traces and click on the add to dataset button. Since we don't already have a dataset, we'll create a new one. And now we can see a preview of the dataset being created as well. In the preview here, we can see as input columns, the context, the question, and the doc domain type, and as output, the LLM's response. Over a period of time, once we have enough traces, we can select and add all the good traces to this dataset and use it for fine tuning our model. This is a really efficient way of fine tuning. So we have built a programmatic interface to Spotlight, and we have built an LLM based QA chain that given some content can precisely answer a question based on that content. We now need to chain the two together. Before we do that, let's first understand a little complication that we anticipate here. As we saw earlier, for our complex query, Spotlight didn't return anything. That's because it searched for files containing all the words in our query. But our query really wants a much smaller subset of keywords to be searched for. Most of the query is really a description of what we want from the files containing that subset of keywords. So we need to first extract the keywords from our query and then use Spotlight to search for files containing those keywords. Adding another LLM chain to identify those keywords before querying is a good idea. So let's write a function to do that. Now that we have our search keywords extractor, let's modify our main function to combine everything. Let's now run everything together. Works like a charm. In this video, we use locally hosted LLMs along with LangChain framework to build an LLM solution. The solution provided amazing answers to quite complex questions on our local content. What's more, we didn't even have to set up any additional tools. We used Spotlight to search for files containing certain keywords and then used LLMs to precisely answer questions based on those files. We also saw the power of the LangChain framework in how easy it is to use Langsmith to debug our LLM-based solutions and how easily we could use it to create datasets that may later be used to fine-tune our models.